Hello Internet, Luke here, and today I'm going to be doing my fifth episode of my Halo MCC Big Team Battle How to Win kind of tips videos. This is episode five, and uh, I started this a little late. You can see it's already like three minutes into one bomb. I started it a little late, but that's okay. Uh, I've been doing that lately, like I'll be on my phone or I'll be checking, you know, email or something, and I'll see that, oh shit, the game started. So everyone already left. No one took the bomb, so I'm already kind of thinking, well, crap. Uh, I'm going to have to do this all by myself. But thankfully, thankfully, Mr. What is that? Lo Local Man 322? Local Man 322 decided to help me out. And how do I repay him? By beating him in the back. So we get on the mongoose, and one of the best ways to play assault in my mind is just to run it in there. Hopefully you can get it in there. Once you arm that bomb, they only have, what, 16 seconds to disarm it? before it blows up and that's not a lot of time especially since it takes like six seconds anyway so really they only have like 10 seconds to get to the bomb and disarm it there I do end up arming it but uh, they do end up disarming it because none of my teammates are helping and they're all just kind of standing around doing nothing so I'm like Ugh, well crap and most people would get discouraged at this and say well I just have bad teammates I was meant to lose this game it's over. I'm not going to play. I'm just going to go for kills like the whole rest of my team. Um, and I do end, I kill this guy just because he's in our base and that, that, that won't fly. Um, predict that he's going to be down here and kill him. But then I go back to get the bomb and by now, Mr. Loco Man has already taken the bomb and taken some initiative. And I'm, saying, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to drive him this time. But that other guy with Hayabusa, like everyone else, like everyone in Halo 3 has Hayabusa with the katana on. I don't know, man, but they are deciding to drive it themselves. So I think, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go help them. So I go through the wall, through the little thing. I'm met with a little resistance, a little warhog, but they doesn't see me yet. Putting some shots into the driver, not doing very well. Something with Halo 3 is just whacked. I mean, the hit detection is spotty. Right there, it was being completely stupid. So I come over here. You can see that the bomb was close to the platform. They got it real close. They didn't end up arming it which ends up working out for me later. You'll see, you'll see. I kill that guy colors, um, and no one else seems to be around. I wait for the turret to stop caring about me. I go in and I kill the turret. I came in along the side in the back entrance. I see that there's some people here, one spawning. I'm thinking, ah, crap, this is gonna be tough. So I almost kill that guy, I'm close. I drop my bubble, and I get the arm. Oh, now every second counts. Every kill I get, every second counts here. And I'm down to like 10 seconds. Now, if I can kill this guy, it's pretty much my play, my plat. And I'm going to get those points. And my team's going to win the round. This guy wouldn't have been able to disarm me, but I kill him anyway. And I blow up in a blaze of glory. And I felt like I just won the lottery three times in a row right there. It was awesome. I had so much fun with that. i um, not going to take all the credit for that because Loco Man did put that ball, or not the ball, the uh, bomb right on the platform for me but I was still able to get in there and do some damage and get the point for our team so fantastic job on me and Loco Man's part shout out to him I don't even know if he does anything with YouTube or anything like that but shout out to him so here at the start of the, at the, start of the game you'll see me doing something I like to call uh, fetching fetching with power weapons I generally try to rush for sniper and then I'll take shotgun if that's still available and I go right back into the base Go right back in. You don't need... Sure, if you're outside of the base with the sniper and the shotgun, you're going to get tons of kills because that's where all the people are. But you're not going to be defending anything. You need to defend if you want to win. You only have to do this for one round. You only have to camp super hard for one round. And in Halo, it's not camping. It's called map control. It's different. In Halo, for some reason, Halo players are allowed to camp because that's called map control. It's called map control in Halo. In Call of Duty, it's called camping. We're not going to worry about it. People say that in my videos sometimes I do get campy. I do tend to stay in the same spot, and that's because I'm fuck. I'm just. Ca I'm not camping. I'm controlling power weapons. I'm playing defense. It's something that is so alien to some people because they're used to just running around like chickens with their head cut off. If you want to win, if you want to do well, you have to control the power weapons and you have to control certain aspects of the map. So here you can see I'm just kind of keeping people off, trying to keep people away from the base doing a fairly good job remember the rounds are four minutes long which is a lot of time but every second does count in a, in a one one bomb or one flag or whatever you're playing these rules also apply to one flag only they're a little bit different because flag is different than bomb 
But as you can see by the timer, we're almost to two minutes. So they're almost half their time is gone um, for them to arm the bomb. And I don't see the bomb anywhere. Now, if you saw there, there was a guy on the little ledge there. I don't need him doing stuff. So I'm going to go exclusively for him and go pick him off. Um, you want to, I have a shotgun, I have a sniper. I need to defend my base. And here I'd stick him, shoot him with the shotgun for good measure and get the kill. Ninja Assassin 427. He met his match when he messed with my base. So now we're 145. They're low. They're below two minutes with their um, bombs, or not with the bomb, with the uh, with their time. And you can see the bomb just dropped there. That's actually a fantastic position for it. I think it takes 30 seconds for a bomb to reset. So for the next minute, we know exactly where their bomb is because we are pretty good at keeping them out of our sight. I mean, that's a really defendable position for our bomb. So we're gonna try to keep them off that bomb so we can burn another 30 seconds off this timer. Now I'm sure none of my teammates are thinking that. Most of my teammates are probably thinking, well, that's what all my teammates are thinking because they don't do anything. They don't play the objective. I'm not insulting them. Well, I am. It's just, you know, I'm trying to get 500 wins. So I've been, I don't want to say trying hard, but I've been trying to win. So I've been, and that has sparked a lot of videos because I've had to think about my tactics and stuff. So uh, less than a minute left, we're at 50 seconds. If they try to walk that bomb in, it's going to be right at the buzzer. <laughs> Shout out to du Dual Spikers. You gotta, it wouldn't be a Halo 3 commentary unless Dual Spikers were involved. Shout out to Dual Spikers. Um, so, 30 seconds left. They have to, if they don't run that bomb in, it's going to take forever for them to get here if they don't have a vehicle. And I don't, I don't hear any vehicles going down. Or, or I don't hear any vehicles starting up or coming towards us. So I'm thinking that we're going to win this already. I'm, think, I'm already thinking, all right, there's only 15 seconds left. Even with sudden death, it'd be very unlikely for them to win. I'm just going to try to keep them at bay. And I see the bomb here. You notice I'm not running at him because there's still a, uh, an overtime, which is another 30 seconds, which could allow him to plant the bomb. So I'm just sticking back and spikering. I'm just sitting back, making sure he doesn't pop out of cover. Every second that he burns is another second that he's not arming that bomb. I mean, it probably would take him 10 seconds to get back to the base. So, I mean, if I can waste 20 seconds of time, we win the game. And right there, boom, round over. It's one to zero. We, we're gonna get a win regardless because a tie still counts as a win in this game. So, I'm happy thinking, yeah, we did it. And here, the uh, there's Loco Man again with the bomb, hooking him up, doing, a, doing, doing the deeds, doing the deeds. And they actually get this plant pretty quickly. Like, I think I go to grab the sniper Maybe I kill one guy and then the bomb gets planted and we win the round. So I think it's because a lot of people ended up quitting on their team after that uh, the second round. And that's fine. I mean, I, I'm not going to show all of this commentary because who wants to see me derp around for a little bit? I mean, if you want to, put a comment and I can upload the whole video. But the last round is just me derping. So thank you for watching, guys. My name is Luke. Hopefully you learned something. If not, I hope the commentary or the video was enjoyable to watch. And always, bye-bye.